My name is Pritchard Cologne. I'm 20 years old. Williams is unloading up to love. I was a professional boxer from Puerto Rico. The most brutal fight in boxing history is nothing like you'd expect. You might imagine it ending with a powerful punch knocking the opponent out in a classic display of boxing prowess. But in reality, it was far more savage and unforgiving. My name is Pritchard Colon. I'm 20 years old. I'm a pro boxer out of Orocovis, Puerto Rico. I want to be world champion. I'm sure I will be world champion. In 2013, Pritchard Colon was one of the most promising up-and-comers in the boxing world. Boy, oh boy, the punch is flying at Brooklyn tonight. A series of big right hands from Pritchard Colon. Two years later, Pritchard faced Terrell Williams in the ring. As is typical in boxing, the two prepared for a brawl, and both fighters entered the ring undefeated. Through the first five rounds, Pritchard had the lead. Big body shot there from Cologne. However, from the very first round, he repeatedly pointed to the back of his head and complained to referee Joe Cooper that Williams was hitting him with illegal rabbit punches. And Cologne drops down to his knees. The crowd is furious right now. The ref calls time. Right hand, and yeah, I mean, that was directly to the back of the head. To make matters worse, the referee didn't deduct any points from Williams, effectively encouraging him to continue the illegal hit. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You got a few minutes. Frustrated, Pritchard retaliated by illegally striking his opponent below the belt. Immediately, Cooper deducted two points from Pritchard, ruling the violation as intentional. At this point, Pritchard's team should have recognized that something was wrong. Williams is unloading up to load. He puts him down. Pritchard told the ringside doctor that his head hurt and that he was dizzy, but he felt he could continue, and the ringside doctor agreed. The final blow was a deliberate and hard punch to the back of Pritchard's head. It's the nightmare. Everything changed that night. It was awful. The trauma caused internal bleeding, and by the time Pritchard returned to his dressing room after the fight, he began vomiting and then collapsed. Then in the locker room, Mom tried to put him, in, uh, sit him down in the chair that was there, and he started uh, sliding down. The collapse put Pritchard into a 221-day coma. It was later revealed that part of his skull had collapsed, pressing against his brain. Pritchard survived the horrific coma through surgery, but his life was forever changed. Who are you? What is your name? My name is Pritchard Colon Melendez. That is you! His mother became his full-time caretaker, as he is now severely physically and cognitively impaired. They just have to stay together as a family and keep working and keep praying for him. The tragedy spread far and wide within the boxing community. I always have concern for all fighters. We risk our lives for you guys' entertainment. This man ain't have no kids. Man, they don't understand, man. Y'all don't f understand what we go through, man. And I don't even know him like that. Pritchard has sought compensation for his suffering. However, neither the promoters, the ringside doctor, the referee, nor Williams himself faced any consequences for their actions. Luckily, Pritchard is blessed with a loving and supportive family. I do believe in miracles. I do believe in miracles. I believe he can, he can wake up, but we don't know when. That's my, my, my dream, my hope, my, my faith. He receives excellent care and his health continues to improve.